Well, hello, my friend. Welcome to day 71 of our Bible reading plan. We are reading through the Bible in one year together. The first um, passage that really stood out to me was from Mark chapter 16, verse 1 to 4. So Mark chapter 16, uh, verse 1 says, When the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome bought spices so that they might go to anoint him, speaking of Jesus. And very early on in the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb and they were saying to one another, who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance of the tomb? And looking up, they saw that the stone had been rolled back. It was very large. Then we know that they're sent out to share the good news with the disciples, to tell them that Jesus is risen. And um, it was just making me think as I'm reading through this passage of scripture, you know, they're thinking about how they're going to serve the body of Jesus, how they're going to serve the body of Christ that day. And they're, they're thinking, hey, we've got to go out and buy some spices. Uh, how are we going to roll away this stone so that we can get to Jesus? And I just started thinking of all these different parallels, you know, like with ministry, maybe we've got some figurative spices that we've got to go out and buy. Maybe we've got to think about how we can roll away the stone so people can see Jesus clearly, so people can connect with Jesus. There's all these sorts of parallels that are going on when we serve the body of Christ and serve the people of God, just as they're going about their day and they're thinking about how they're going to minister to the body of Christ. And so they're going down and they're thinking about all these things and they've got all this on their mind, um, sort of just like natural things in ministry, natural things that they have to do to, to serve God. And as they get down there, we see that God just shows up in a powerful way that, you know, the, the messenger is there and he's like, hey, um, you know, Jesus isn't here. He's risen from the dead. Go and go and tell the disciples and sends them out. And so God just shows up in a supernatural, powerful way. That stone that they were worried about moving has been rolled away. And uh, God just shows up in a really powerful, unexpected way as they went about their day, just performing their ministry tasks. So to speak. And it was a reminder to me today that as we bring what we have, as we do what we can do, if we, as we do what we know to do, God will show up in unexpected ways and send us out in unexpected ways, use our ministry in unexpected ways. As God comes and he ministers in us and through us, he does exponentially greater than anything that we could do on our own. So just as he showed up there, we see that he also showed up when uh, the disciples, it reminded me of the disciples bringing water to Jesus. And as they brought water to Jesus, Jesus showed up, transformed that water and he allowed them to serve wine to the people. As God gets in the midst of your ministry, when you bring what's natural, when you bring what's normal, when you bring what you can, God actually gets in the midst of it. He does what only he can do and he actually turns it and changes it into something that can actually change people's lives. God is in the business of bringing about ministry and anointing through us, anointed ministry through us that carries something supernatural on it that's unexpected from us. It's all him. And so he gets all of the glory. When we bring what we have in the natural, God adds his supernatural to it and he brings supernatural results through our natural you know, abilities and talents and gifts and ministries. And so I just wanted to encourage us with that today. Hey, maybe we're you know, teaching, we're ministering, we're leading, whatever it is that we're doing, even if it's not specific specifically in a ministry context, maybe it's in uh, the marketplace, we bring what we can, but as we pray and we ask God to move upon it, as we ask for the anointing of the Holy Spirit and the empowering of the Holy Spirit for God to use it for his glory, he can actually take those natural things and use them in supernatural ways. So I just loved that thought today. I also loved um, in here in, in Leviticus chapter 25, in Leviticus chapter 25, um, we see that it talks about this Sabbath year, this year of Jubilee. And, um, you know, talking about a year of celebration, um, talks about a year of Sabbath, a year of rest. And so we've got these 
this idea of a year of Jubilee and a year of Sabbath um, in amongst, you know, this like this hectic book about God being serious and people being struck dead and like all of this serious, holy stuff. We see that God is not only a serious, holy God not to be messed with, but he is also a God who cares about rest. He cares about celebration. He cares about joy. He cares about us being fulfilled in him. And so he's setting up all of these different parties throughout Leviticus, all these feasts, these parties, and these times of rest with the Sabbath and this time of celebration with the year of Jubilee. And so God cares about every aspect of our lives and he wants to make sure that we are celebrating, we are full of joy, that we have times of rest and times of um, recovery and restoration. And so God cares about every aspect of our lives. He cares about all of these sorts of aspects. And in Leviticus, we see that he actually planned ways to make sure that the Israelites would incorporate these into their daily lives and into their flow and their cycle of living. And so it was just a reminder to me today as well that God is interested in, in partying in my life, you know, partying with him and celebrating with him and um, being joy filled and being um, a person who knows how to rest and take breaks and recover and get restored and refreshed in him and and really making sure that that's not just something that happens by accident but that's something that I make sure I have intentionally built into my calendar and my my lifestyle and same with you you know I, I would love to hear you know I want to see, hear some feedback on the channel it doesn't necessarily have to be like all of your biblical thoughts we're not writing a thesis um, on the channel today you can just share if you have some ideas of how how you incorporate celebration and party and fun stuff into your schedule maybe how you rest and recover and get restored you know it doesn't have to be super spiritual but knowing that hey even in these things these are a spiritual idea because God has worked them into our lifestyle and our calendar and we're honoring God when we do these sorts of things so love to hear your feedback on how you recover, how you rest, how you um, enjoy yourself, how you celebrate, how do you really make sure that you do these intentionally and not just accidentally as you go through your life and calendar. And I would love to pray for us today as well. I'd love to pray that God would take our natural uh, everyday life and our natural ministry and put his supernatural on it and move in supernatural ways through our ministry. And I would love to pray as well that uh, God would help us to intentionally, you know, celebrate in our lives and, and build joy into our lives and build uh, rest and, and restoration and times of recovery into our, um, our schedule as well. So God, I just thank you for my friend today. I thank you for the awesome opportunity that we have to read your word together, Lord God. We never take it for granted, Lord. We're so thankful that we can read your word and we're so thankful Holy Spirit, that as we're reading, God, you lead and guide us into all truth. You illuminate your word to us, God. I thank you that it's a living word, that it's living and it's active. And I thank you, Lord, that you want to speak to us through your living word today so that we can live out your word today. And so, God, I just pray that as we go about our day, Lord, I pray that as we put our hands to things, maybe they're natural things in the ministry sense, or maybe even in the marketplace, in our careers, whatever that looks like, as we're putting our hands to things like those ladies going and buying spices and thinking about how they're going to roll away the, the stone. God, I thank you that as we're putting our minds and our hands to those sort of natural things and just doing what is in our hands. God, I thank you that you're multiplying that. You're adding your supernatural to that. I thank you, God, that you're going to use what's in our hands for a supernatural purpose, Lord. I thank you that as you add what you have, what only you can do, I thank you, Lord, that people's lives are changed and transformed and impacted in ways that we could have never planned or expected. And God, I thank you that when you do what only you can do, when it's all you, you get all the glory. And so God, I thank you that you would get glory out of our lives and the things we're putting our hands to today. And God, I pray as well that we would be people who intentionally make space to celebrate, to have joy in our lives, to um, rest, to have that Sabbath, to uh, be restored. And God, I just thank you that we would be healthy. Um, we wouldn't just be working ourselves into the ground, but we would be implementing these things that you have called important, that you have um, sort of implemented from you know days gone by, days of old, Lord God. And I thank you that as we implement those things and we rest in you and we rely on you, we lean in 
into you, not depending fully on ourselves, but trusting you. God, I thank you that we will be the best versions of ourselves that we can be, Lord God. I thank you that we would partner with you and we would be healthy and happy and, and joy-filled people. Um, in Jesus' name, I just thank you for all of this. I thank you for what you're doing in our lives, God. And I just praise you for what you're going to do in and through us today. In Jesus' mighty name, everybody said... Amen. Amen. Well, thank you, my friend. Thank you so much for joining me today um, in our Bible reading devotionals. I can't wait to see you tomorrow for day 72 of our Bible reading plan. I'll see you then. Bye.